All right, guys, we are headed to the gym. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not that good at intros. So I hope you guys enjoyed my oatmeal making skills. <laughs> but um, yeah, my face is doing better from the wisdom teeth um, surgery that I had. As you can tell, my face isn't that swollen. Um, but yeah, we're headed to the gym. We're gonna do a leg day today. I think we're gonna do, along with some cardio stuff like before, like some sprinting mechanics and stuff. Like, oh, my speed bumps in my apartment complex are crazy. But anyway, yeah, squat day today. Uh, tag along. I'll see you when we get there. All right, guys, I just got here at the gym. Um, in a little bit more detail, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off here in the open parking lot. It's not a track, but you do what you gotta do when you wanna be great. Um, I'm gonna start off with walking flexibility. I'm gonna go into some dynamic um, stretches maybe, and then some sprint development stuff like butt kicks, high knees, and then I'll do a few sprints followed by maybe like a small little bit of a plyo circuit. Um, but if you guys don't know what all that is, you'll see it on video. I'll try to get it. I have my tripod with me. And then we'll go into the gym and we'll hit back squats, maybe some step ups, some like explosive step ups, followed by some upper body and then some abs. And then we'll be out of here. Easy as that. Um, but one more thing I want to address because I know some of my audience, uh, some of you viewers have hit me up on social media and asked like, am I high jumping this summer? Like, what am I doing to stay in shape? Like, what does my workout routine look like? Um, and this summer I will not high jump a single time. I won't be high jumping probably until November. So several months, well and in, well into the fall, um, is when we'll start our high jump training. But in the summer, what you really want to focus on is getting stronger and getting faster because both those things will in turn help you become a better jumper once the season starts. And if you high jump year round, you're going to get like injured pretty much like you're gonna have ankle problems knee problems patellar problems all that stuff so during the summer i won't be clearing any bars i'm gonna be pretty much sprinting and lifting the whole summer so that way when i come back in the fall we can get some more training in and then i'll be ready i'll be in shape i'll be you know fast more strong enough to uh have a really good jumping season so that answers that question pretty much I just finished with my sprints. I'm gonna go on like a five minute break before I hop into my plyos, get some recovery in. But if you notice, and I'll try to clip a video, I start my sprints the same way I start my high jump approach. So if you think about it, when I'm doing these little wind sprints, the 10, 20, 30 meter sprints, I'm pretty much starting how I would start a high jump. And you can just imagine, like, if I worked the whole summer, like, through working on that start and working on pushing out and driving, how much better that helps my high jump approach. 
comes uh, the end of fall and spring and towards the season. So it's like, even though I'm not high jumping, I'm still working on like the minor aspects of like my approach and what it means to be a good high jumper. So you always got to keep that in mind. I'm freaking tired already and we're only halfway done. That plyo circuit is freaking hard. All right, about to head into the weight room. All right, y'all, this is where I lift. And there's like a, an MMA fighter that trains here, uh, Alan Pretty Boy Crowder, so that's cool. He'll be in here some days. But yeah, there's a squat rack, deadlift rack, clean rack, whatever. It's awesome, cool materials and stuff so it's awesome to work out in here the main gym is like through that door like over there that's where like the main people lift but this is like called the pit and i like it so i'm about to change into my good old chuck taylor's because they've got a flatter base and it helps me pull off the floor better because it's flatter and not as much cushion i'm gonna do a shoe review video another time about all this
All right, you guys. I'm finished with my workout. Now I'm freaking tired. I went and did some uh, bicep curls, uh, some bent over rows out in the main gym. And I didn't record that because like, you guys know what that is. Like, that's not something special that track people do. That's just something everyone does. Um, I am about to finish up with a few crunches and stuff like that, just to hit the core a little bit. But uh, other than that, that's what a leg day was like for me as a track athlete, high jumper. And there were a, like several squat um, sets that I just didn't record because it just would have been repetitive. But I finished off with two sets of five at 225. And then y'all saw me do the pause squats on the front squat with 135. It's kind of like a cool down. And that also targets my core. Um, and I did like a couple singles at 250 that I didn't want to repeat over and over again. That would have been repetitive. But anyway, yeah, so I did a lot of squatting today. Um, and my legs are feeling like jelly right now. Um, but yeah, I'm about to finish up with some core. Then I'm gonna head home, get some uh, a good meal in me, and recover for the rest of the weekend. It's Saturday right now. So it's a good way to spend Saturday morning. I've been here for almost like two hours. It, once you add like what I did out in the parking lot and then come in and, and squatting and doing all this stuff. So I've been working out for almost two hours. So it's been a good way to start my Saturday. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.